All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. If you can hear me, let me know. Put thumbs up. If you can hear me, let me know. I need to know that you can hear me. I'm going to remove one of my cameras. We only need one for today. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Hope you're well. It is skincare Sunday. So we missed last week's Sunday because Miss Marlene was extremely tired, right? So I was extremely tired. But we have skincare Sunday today, and I hope that you are able to join. I'm just trying to share my live with my audience. Just give me a moment just to fix my camera because my head's being cut off, and I don't want my head totally cut off, not just yet. No. There we go. There we go. Now you can see me. Hello, everyone. It's skincare Sundays with Marlene, and guess what we're making today? We are making lotion. Yes, we are. So come on over. And uh, let's chat, let's talk a bit, uh, making sure that you can hear me. If you can hear me, if you can send a thumbs up for me, please. Let me know that you can hear me, please. I need to know that you can hear me. If you can hear me, thumbs up. If you can't, thumbs down. Let me know. All right, I need to know that you can hear me before I continue going on and nobody can hear me. If you can hear me, let me know. I see three of you. <laughs> All right. What I will do is I'll just go to some, um, I'll go to my YouTube channel, then I'll know if you can hear me or not. All right. We're doing lotion today. It's going to take all of about 15 to 20 minutes to make lotion. Have you ever wanted to make your own hand lotion? Have you ever? Well, guess what? Today you learn how to make your own hand lotion. Tanya Mitchell. My number one CMOS soaper in the world. Where have you been and how are you doing? Hey, girl, how you doing? I should be able to send you a link and you should be able to say, Marlene, I'll come on and share testimony. Oh, come on. Do that for me, Tanya. Wow, Tanya, I haven't seen you in forever. Forever. You need to come on and say hi, Tanya. Tell my people hi. Come on, tell my people hi. Thank you so much for joining today. Let me bring my computer just a little closer. Bring my computer just a little closer so that I don't have to be looking away, okay? Yes, there we go. There we go. So it's skincare Sunday. Last week's Sunday we missed because I was exhausted and I had to have a personal day. So that's what I did. I had a personal. <laughs> oh, this is a mom. <laughs> hey, mom. How you doing? Yeah, how you doing? Pretty girl. Yeah, Debbie, isn't it? That's Debbie. Um, yeah, so I had to have a personal day. I just had to take some time and just rest. We have to do that sometimes. Rest is good. Rest is important. And guess what? You no know, guilt in it. You have to take a day off. You have to take a day off. We have to do that sometimes, right? So how are you doing, Miss Debbie? How are you doing today? I'm just trying to do one little house thing here and just share some more um yeah i know it's debbie i got your name down pack sweet girl i know who that is you and your sister now the sister's name i don't remember at this moment but thank you so much everyone for joining me today um on this beautiful sunday i'm so happy that you chose to join me if you do me a favor and just share the link share the live with your friends and family anyone you think would be interested in learning how to make hand lotion um, or lotion or skincare products. Remember, I'm Marlene, and it's during this time that I actually get to teach you how to do certain things. Today we're not doing um, today we're not doing soap or deodorant. We're doing lotion. A lot of you have a great interest in the deodorant, and I hope that by now you would have gotten your products and you have been trying to make them on your own. And um, yeah, so today is lotion. All right, today's lotion. Awesome. So I've finished sharing with my audience out there. So if you do me a favor, the great favor of sharing with your friends and family, I would be so, so happy. So how have you guys been doing? I know you may have missed me last week. I missed you very, very much. Um, hold on. Let's put up those comments. Let's get those comments up there. Let's get those comments up there. Tanya's mom. Tanya's mom. Debbie. Yeah, how's my girl? How's Tanya? So are you interested in learning how to make lotion today? Because I really, I want to teach you how to make lotion. So if you can just share this live and share this um, link with your friends and families, that would just do my heart good. I just want to teach the world how to 
find another source of income, you know, how to, yeah, we need to be able to do that in this hard times, these hard times that we're living in. Um, we need to be able to take care of ourselves financially, you know? And so I'm just trying to go, there we go, trying to get to our video where we're talking about skincare on my Facebook page so that I can see. Hi, Monique, how are ya? Hi, Monique. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for joining us, Monique. Awesome. So today we are doing lotion and it won't take us very long. Hi, Lolita. How are you? Share, 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 because my friend Michelle would say sharing is caring. So share this live with your friends and family so they too can learn how to make their own lotion. So our recipe today is very simple. The blog will go up immediately after I'm finished. I haven't released it because I wanted you to be here learning firsthand with me how to make the lotion. And so I haven't opened it up to you yet, but it's already uploaded on my site. I just need the pictures of our lotion. I have my bottles here ready to fill them and I am ready to teach you how to make lotion. And so I hope that you are ready to learn also, right? So thank you so much for joining our live. I see a lot of you are joining. I'm so happy to be with you, um, to teach you how. If you haven't done so already, will you please, 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 please go to my YouTube channel, um, Something Better Today. I'm putting it up now, somethingbettertoday.com. You can go to my Facebook, my YouTube, and my, what are the three? Facebook, YouTube, and my um, website. Everything is something better today. Everything is something better today. So today we are learning how to make lotion, how to make lotion, all right? And so I just wanna teach you, it's gonna be a quick recipe. We should be up here all of 30 minutes max, 30 minutes max. Um, so you have to have a scale. Do you have a scale? Do you own a kitchen scale or a food scale? You need one of those. Here are the tools you will need for this class. You need a scale. You need a blender, an immersion blender. Okay. And um, that's it. Our ingredients today, coconut milk, sweet almond oil, um, Emulsifying wax. Hi, Boniface. How you doing? Hi, Boniface. Thank you for joining. Hi. And we have emulsifying wax. And I'm going to tell you what each ingredient is good for. Then we have our stearic acid. And of course, we have to have some what? Shea butter. Gotta have some shea butter. And for our preservative, we're using Optifin Plus. Optifin Plus. Now, let me say something about preservatives. You're watching from Rwanda. Thank you for joining all the way to Rwanda. Imagine, I've never been there, but I'm so happy that the internet connects us and brings us together as a family. I just love that. I love how God works and how he brings us together. Thank you so much, Boniface, for sharing the live because my friend says sharing is caring. So we're 10 minutes into this and I want us to get right into our, thank you, thank you so much. Just keep up the good work. Um, I want us to get into our recipe. So I have these measuring cups that you can purchase very cheap on Amazon. I'm the Amazon girl, all right? So I am going to teach you how to make this recipe. I would like to bring my camera just a little closer or take it down a bit so that you can actually see how we're using the scale today because I want you to learn how to use the scale. You have to have a kitchen scale in order for this recipe to work, okay? You have to have a scale. It doesn't work otherwise. So I'm taking you right down now so you can see my scale in action or at work. Now you can't see that very, oh, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can, can. And just move that comment right there and then you can see. Awesome. Oh boy. Now something better today is hiding it. Hold on. Let me just take that banner down. Hide it. All right. Take, and we're doing lotion today. Awesome. <laughs> then my name comes up. <laughs> can't win for losing. Can't, can't win for losing. Right, Lolita? Can't win for losing. Okay. So I want to teach you how to use the scale. You must have a scale. You must have a scale. There's no way, no two ways around it. I'm going to take my, my, my um, good stuff. 
I'm going to take my cam awesome. Let's see if I can take it up a little. Awesome. So now you can see. Right now it's on 0.00. .00. Do you see that? You see it? Say yes if you do. No if you can't. And we have it on pound ounces. But we want to change that from pound ounces. I want you to see it. That's on pound ounces. To change it from pound ounces, usually we use either left or right. And we want to take it to just ounces. Right now it's on grams. And I can see very clearly I'm looking at it too. So that is ounces. And then, and then, I don't know if I could take it down any closer. Um, okay. When I put my, my, my item on, when I put that on there, then you see the weight has been, okay, I want you to see something. Okay. Watch this. So it's at zero, you see? When I put that on there, what happens? The weight of my cup shows up. It's 2.93 ounces, right? Yes, Ms. Lolita says yes. Let's put that up on our screen, yes. Okay, so it's 2.93 ounces. So this cup is weighing 2.93 ounces. I need to zero my cup because if I don't zero my cup, what's going to happen? It's not going to show a true weight, okay? It's very important. This, is, this lesson is so important. If you were thinking of moving from your camera, your TV, your whatever device you're using, this is not the time because you need to learn to use the scale. So this cup is worth 2.93 ounces, but I don't want the weight of the cup. I want to put my oils in there. And if I'm gonna put my oils in there, it needs to be at zero before I add my oils. So let's zero it out. Look on your scale and it says either tier or zero. My own says zero. So you see now it's at zero. Awesome. Our recipe today, if someone will type it and then send it in the chat, that would be so awesome. Who can I depend on? I will read the recipe and then you can type it for me so that it can be in the chat. Is that okay? Can someone do that for me? I would so appreciate it. I would just so. So we need 1.7 ounces of sweet almond oil. 1.7 ounces of sweet almond oil. Someone should be typing for me. Whoever chooses to take that job on, I am most appreciative. I'm going to quickly go to the recipe. It's in my phone also. Don't send it up yet. Just send it all at once, okay? So it's 1.7 ounces of sweet almond oil and one ounce of coconut oil. One ounce of coconut oil. Then we're using one ounce of stearic acid. That's our stearic and 1.2 ounces of emulsifying wax. And I'm gonna tell you what each of these ingredients are for and where they're sourced. We need 1.2 ounces of shea butter. Yes. And you need 0.2 ounces of Optifan. Optifan is the preservative that we're using today. If you don't use preservative, you are going to have mold growing in your lotion. Yes, you will, okay? up to fen. Then we're going to use 0.1 ounce for color. I'm not going to use color. I don't want color. I want to keep it. It's pure color. And then I'm going to use uh, 3.5 milliliters of my scent. And today we're using, guess what we're using? Lemongrass. All right. 3.5 milliliters. So did someone type it for me? I hope you did. So you can send it in now so everybody can see it. I'll put it on the screen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, whoever it was. If you're just joining us, this is Marlene McKinney, and I am teaching today how to make a hand lotion, okay? How to make a hand lotion. So I'm going to begin pouring into my, like, scale went down. My scale went in. All right, now you can see it's zero. Awesome, awesome. I would love it if you would just share the live. Share this with somebody. Share it with somebody. This needs to be zero, very important, because we don't want to start without zero. Zero out your scale. So sweet almond oil, we need, how much did I say? 1.7 ounces. Come on, y'all got to be watching because I am behind my scale, and you're going to have to tell me when I got to 1.7. Let me move because y'all are not, not checking for me today. I'm Marlene, and I'm teaching you how to make lotion. Every Sunday, every Sunday at 2 o'clock, I come on to teach you skincare Sundays. And you can go to my website, Something Better Today, 
and you can find this on my website one point am i there yet am i there yet am i there yet no awesome almost 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 yes well went over just a little but that's okay all right did somebody type it nobody typed it oh oh i'm so disappointed that's okay so we have our sweet almond oil and why are we using sweet almond oil may i share with you a little bit about sweet almond oil before we even go on to measuring the rest of our ingredients um sweet almond oil let's see if i can find it um let's see if i can find it on our website because i know that the question is coming why are we using sweet almond oil and so as i said at the very end of our presentation here you will be able to go on my website and you will be able to pull up this recipe. It's not there now because I have not, I have not um, given the recipe yet, but it's already uploaded and I'm just waiting. Okay, so sweet almond oil is our carrier oil, okay? And the carrier oils are used to dilute essential oils and moisturize our skin. Sweet almond oil is the moisturizer in this recipe and it is particularly good for a good choice for this recipe because it's both affordable and it's easy to find yes easy to find okay so that's why we're using sweet almond oil and you can get sweet almond oil from the pharmacies i got this one i happen to get this one across the street the pharmacy but i happen to also sell it as something better i sell it i sell it as something better so come on down to something better next week and you can get your sweet almond oil then i'm going to add some coconut oil coconut oil is so good for your skin it is so hydrating and so healing it's antifungal antiviral antibacterial it is so good for your skin let me tell you um coconut oil is one of the number one oils i just happen to love it so so much and so we are using coconut oil um so coconut oil has been used the world over to improve long-term health issues for years as a matter of fact it's great for vitamins and antioxidants and minerals that your skin is good inside and outside of your body. Matter of fact, I like to say that, huh? I know. Guess what it's also good for? It is perfect, perfect for reversing memory loss. So take two tablespoons today. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it right here in front of you as soon as I'm finished with this recipe. If you haven't shared our live already, please do so. Hi. I know, Miss Desiree. Listen, I just did it. I just recorded another program. And Michelle and I are getting ready to record another program because this week is going to be a challenge for me. I know she's like, Miss Busybody. Miss Busy Lady. No, she didn't say Miss Busybody. Thank you so much for sharing our live. Let's get that to zero. We already have our sweet almond oil in there. Now we need one ounce of coconut oil. And there are, I know you're not seeing my face. You're seeing my scale because I'm showing you quickly how to make it. Okay, let me put this other camera up so you can see me. Add to stream. Hi, Miss Desiree. Hi. <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> Thank you. I know you weren't seeing me. I, I, I thought I'd choose one camera today, but that's okay. I know you want to see me too. So there you go. How you doing, girly? So one ounce, just one ounce. Let's get that in there. Just one ounce. Oh, look at what I did. Oh, no. Hey, oh, no, 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 no. So what do I do? What do you think I should do? Should I double my recipe because I made a mistake? Huh? Do you think I should just double my recipe because I made a mistake? Mm, no, I'm going to take some out. I'll take a little out. It's just five ounces. But guess what? Now it's going to be a mixture of two oils. <laughs> and I'll put it in my avocado. That's because I'm trying to multitask here. So I'm just going to pour a little out. I only need one ounce. All right. So I'm going to pour it into my avocado oil container. Awesome. Look at that. I got it. Yay. I got it. She says, yes, she's great. Yes, 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 yes. So our oils are all in here. Now, what next goes into my cup? My measuring cup? The first four ingredients that I listed today will go into my measuring cup. Okay. So I have my avocado. I have my coconut, right? I'm going to put them away because I like to put things away as I go. I find it to be easier for me. And then I'm going to add my steric acid and my emulsifying wax, okay? Emulsify this emulsifying wax that I'm using today, it is a 
vegetable-based emulsifying wax, okay? It's a vegetable-based emulsifying wax. You can get all kinds of emulsifying wax. I think BTM is a, definitely another one that you may find on the internet, on Amazon or wherever it is that you're shopping. But this one today is a vegetable-based emulsifying. You've got to have something to bring your oils together. The emulsifying wax is a mixture of different types of waxes. It's used in the making of lotion to give it more creamy, smooth texture. Emulsifying wax is not the same as beeswax. Do not use beeswax. You're using emulsifying wax. The beeswax we use in lip balm, lotions, and other products. And of course, you can use another one um, if you don't want to use the beeswax for those of us who are vegan. So I'm going to put this in my oil right now. All right. So there goes my emulsifying wax in my oil. Then the steric acid, which is normally made from tallow, which is pork fat or other animal fats. But this one is found in, it's, a, it's, a, it's not from animal sources because when I purchase, I make sure that it's a vegetable base and the steric acid is usually found in cocoa butter and shea butters. Steric acid is usually white, like this one is. And it also um, is used in lotions because it has unique properties. It doesn't irritate the skin, it doesn't dissolve easily in water, and it holds its shape even when exposed to air. So that's our emulsifying wax. And I sell all of these over at Something Better. All right? So guess what that is in there? You see those little black specks? That's okay, you can let it go. All right, good stuff. Let's put that away. So now I'm going to stir. All right, I'm stirring. I'm stirring because I want to make sure that it's all combined before I pop it into the microwave. So I'm going to pop this into the microwave for two minutes. While this is in the microwave, while this is in the microwave, I am going to measure out our water. So I'm popping it into the microwave now. So it goes into the microwave for two minutes. Now, you don't have to use a microwave. You can definitely use a double boiler. But my computer's on my stove, so hello, I have to use what I have, all right? Good stuff. I should have mentioned that you should always, 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 very important fact here, that you should always make sure to sterilize your material before beginning, all right? Good. So while that's in, I'm going to measure my water, all right? I'm going to measure my water. So let's grab some water. And we need 18 ounces of distilled water. 18 ounces of distilled water. Remember, in our scale, what do we want to do? Zero it out and make sure that it's on liquid. So we need 18 ounces of water. Let's see if 18 ounces can fit in here. Otherwise, I'm going to have to pull my next. Um, I have another uh, container that will be larger. Thank you so much for joining us today on Skincare Sunday. And then I would like you to tell me what it is that you would like to learn on Skincare Sunday so that I can teach you if I know how to make it. All right. Already you've learned how to make three different bars of soap. You've learned how to make deodorant. Now you learn how to make lotion. Next week we can do bath bombs or we can do, trying to get to this 18. There we go. So next week we can do um, something else that's fun and very therapeutic for the skin. All right. Good stuff. And then, that's my, my fragrance. It's not a fragrance. It is actually lemongrass. In the Bahamas, Miss Desri, we grow lots of lemongrass, all right? That's my lemongrass. I'm going to just set it aside. And when the oils come out, then I add my shea butter. All right? Let's check it. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. All melted. Look at that. I love it. So let's stir it. I'm going, while I'm stirring, I'm adding my water now to my microwave for a minute. I'm going to add my shea butter. Got to add some shea butter. So now I'm going, ooh, that's, that oil is hot. <laughs> that oil is hot. So I'm going to um, cut it up in small bits. Let's cut it up in small bits. You can see inside there. Can you see it? And just keep on stirring as I'm stirring. Um, chopping it up in small bits and keep on stirring. You stir for the entire one minute, okay? Thank you so much for joining us on Skin Care Sundays. I want you to learn how to make all these different things so we can take better care of ourselves, right?
That's the whole idea here. Learning to take better care of ourselves. So share the live, share the live, share the live. We've got three minutes count down to the end of our show. And um hoping, hoping that we'll be able to make that time. All right. Don't want to go more than 30 minutes for our class today. So I'm just going as quick as I can. As quickly as I can. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Let's check our water. The water just needs to be warm. And now here you see magic. You're going to see magic. Who's ready? Drum roll. <laughs> You're going to see water and oil come together and become one. Remember, water and oil never mixes. They never come together. But in this case, they do. So I'm pouring in my water. Watch this. Watch it. Look at that. 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 Awesome. And I should have had my blender all. <laughs> I don't have my blender plugged in. I'm sorry. There we go. And we blend. And I'm making sure that I. Ooh, this is powerful. <laughs> Can you tell I'm enjoying this too much? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. This wants to come out. Already it's one. Okay. Already it's one. So then I am going to add very quickly my essential oil, which is like I said, what is it? Lemongrass. I'm pouring it in. All right. And I'm going to use my scale because I don't want to go over in the department of preservative. And my preservative is. 0.2 of an ounce, 0.2, very, very little, right? Very, very little. Oh, dear. Think I'm going to get that out of there? <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to open that up. I'm going to have to, and this is a very safe preservative, very, very safe preservative. All right, and this little bottle will probably make me heaps, okay? Hold on, come back on. So it's zero... Oh my goodness, I'll be here all day trying to measure this because I mean, like, hello. 0.2 of an ounce. So I'm just waiting for it to start moving. Come on. <laughs> well, this is only, I think, 0.2 of an ounce. Come on, don't do that. It's trying to go off on me, guys. Okay, so I need more. Oh, you saw what happened, right? You saw what happened? Oh, man. Anyway. Anyways, my lotion's already setting up, guys. You should feel it. It feels amazing. I'm going to put a few drops in there. And there we go. The rest of it, I'm going to put it right back into the jar. You don't need a lot. If you don't put preservative, you're going to have mold in your soap. You're going to. All right? That's just, I'm sorry. Goes without saying, you will have mold growing in your soap. And you don't want that. All right? Optifen, um, this one that I'm germous, uh, sorry, Optifen Plus. This is very safe. So let's blend. Let's see what it's going to look like. <laughs> Do you want me to put color? If you want me to put color, say yes. Come on. Who wants me to put some color? Because I happen to have some safe colors. We call it Mica colors. Let me see if I can find something that's yellow because, you know, lemongrass is yellow. I'm not sure that I have yellow, but I'm going to look in my little bag of colors I have here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I hope I do, I hope I do. Oh boy. Ay, 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 I don't see any yellow. No yellow, kiss the fellow. <laughs> oh, so we'll keep it white, that's okay, that's fine. And that's fine, okay? So here goes our lotion. Watch me, I'm going to pour it into our bottles now. My bottles are brand new, okay? I don't sell bottles at my store, but watch me. It's hand lotion. I'm not kidding you guys. This lotion is amazing, okay? This is an eight ounce bottle. Let's see if we'll get two and some and some, okay? Thank you so much for joining. This is Marlene and this is Skincare Sunday. I'm so happy that you chose to stop by and learn how to make lotion. Oh, this is awesome. And yes, I do sell lotion at my store from time to time, right? I do. And that smells amazing. I'm gonna put a little more. I forgot. I forgot to make sure that it had a good smell. 
I didn't want it to bland. I want it to smell really good. So I'm going to put a little more in each and I'm going to just shake it up. So now you see my bloopers. <laughs> All right. So let's get the rest of it in this bottle. This one's for me. It says something better. This is for me. This is my bottle. All right. And I think I can get a little more. Good stuff. So I have some bottles here. There we go. And there we go. So how much did I get from my recipe? I got two eight ounce bottles, one four ounce bottle, and one two ounce bottle. Hello. That sounds great to me. I don't know about you guys, but I'm just so happy that I had this opportunity to teach you how to make lotion today. And I hope that you enjoyed the process. Now my numbers are increasing. We had 17 plus students and we are, oh, we are about finished. All right. So it's now 33 minutes in. So this here, I'm going to take it. And I'm going to put it on my hands. I'm going to show you how it feels amazing. I mean, it just simply feels amazing and smells divine. Oh, I just love it. I love lotion making. I love all these different various crafts. Um, I really do. And guess what? It sets up very, very quickly. Very quickly. It doesn't take long. And there goes our lotion. You leave it uncovered on the counter. Only reason I'm shaking it. I want you to see the finish. There goes our lotion. And this is going to set up. Look at it. You can see already. Look. Look how thick. Look how thick it is. Look at that. Look at that. That's lotion. Okay, that's my lotion. So I'm going to put some on my legs. And guess what? The coconut oil, in addition to the fact that, look at me, I'm putting it all over my legs. In addition to the fact that the coconut oil is good as a moisturizer, antifungal, antibacterial, antiviral, guess what else is good for? It's excellent for mosquitoes. That's right. So if you live on the family island, you're going to the family islands, in the Bahamas, we have lots of mosquitoes, Miss um, Desiree. I mean, like lots of mosquitoes. Mosquitoes will lift you up. <laughs> and no joke. <laughs> It'll be lifting you up off the beach, in your chair, wherever you are. So this coconut oil wards off. You got it, mosquitoes. Not only does it ward off mosquitoes, guess what else is good for? Anybody can tell me? What else is good for, for, for the mosquitoes? The lemongrass that I used. That's right, lemongrass. I'm putting some more. You know why? Because I am heading to the family islands and I need to be ready for those monsters. They don't play, all right? They don't play. So this here is great. I have a farmer. When he comes to Nassau, he comes and he purchased from me soaps for mosquitoes. Now I can give him lotion for mosquitoes, right? Just quickly do that. Quick, 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 quick. Make sure it's all in there. Smells awesome. That's it for today. That is it. That is it. That is it. I hope that you had a great time with me today on this skincare Sunday. And remember, the recipe will be uploaded very shortly on my website. I just need to take pictures of my my um, products, my lotions, and I, I will add them to my site. And I promise you, it will be uploaded in a short time. Do you have any questions? Anybody has questions? Questions or comments or concerns? Anybody? Anybody? I have some sandalwood here. I'm going to add some sandalwood. Anybody have questions? No questions? Was it easy or hard? Was it easy or difficult? You guys are the most quiet students I've ever had. Y'all are like quiet. <laughs> Hi, Kay. How are you? That's my friend, Miss Kay, Miss Kay Gary. I'm looking for one more oil. Just give me a second. Ah, there we go. Yeah, so I'm hoping that you all enjoy today. Hi, Mama. How you doing? Oh, nice that you guys, nice that you guys could stop in today and join me for class. I'm so excited to be able to teach you how to make lotion. So if you have visited my my um blog. You will see where I have already taught, well, I've already taught classes in, um, I've also taught classes in, in how to make them. Also, I'm putting some jasmine. I love jasmine. Jasmine's also good for mosquitoes. 
I like my stuff to smell good. So if it doesn't even strong enough, uh oh, that one's set up already. <laughs> nope, look at that. <laughs> look at that. It can't come out. It can't come out. So it's not, it, you know, this one's a bigger bottle, so it's going to take a little more time. But the little one, it's done. All done. <laughs> that is so cute. Look at I just love it. I just love it. Can you see? I want to do the C. All you got to do is squeeze the bottle. Oh, this is awesome. Listen, it is awesome. Smells amazing. I mean, like simply amazing. I just love it. I love teaching all the, oops, oops, I'm getting it all over my kitchen. Oops, 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 and then this one. All right, and that's it. All right, so mama, I know you said hand lotion, but actually body lotion. Yes, it's body lotion. Yes, it is, it's a body lotion. It's not just hand lotion, it's body, body lotion. It's not a facial lotion, okay? It's not a facial lotion. It's for your body, all right? It's for your body. Well, thank you so much for joining. And let me see if I can find my ad, because, you know, I don't like to end unless I tell you what's happening at Something Better Today. So let me see if I can share that video with you at this time. Um, thank you very, very much, very, very much for joining us today. Thank you so much. What time is it? Right time to look good and feel good. It's challenge time. Get on board with certified health coach Marlene McKinney. Global $40 weight loss challenge. Enjoy vegan meal plans, clean eating, routine exercise with awesome WhatsApp group support. Get excited. Don't hesitate. Register, forward email address via WhatsApp to 242-535-6293 or Marlene underscore McKinney at live.com. Don't forget to add your name as it appears on your bank card. What time is it? life-changing time. Join the challenge. Get on board. Well, that's it for today. Until next week, Sunday, same time, same place. I'm Marlene McKinney, and I live where most of you vacation. God bless you. Love you much. And for those of us who I'll see in the morning, see you at 5 or 6.15 in the morning. God bless.